Okay, now uh, we want to put some fancy stuff in here, and I'm thinking. Um, okay, let's flip this around again. And we'll get our operating tables. But I want to put some walls in here. Something that's like... Um, uh, that we can just separate things out just a little bit. And maybe what we'll do is we'll, we'll just use the same kind of wall setup. So if we do like three like this, right? One, two, three, four. We'll do another. One, two, three, four. We'll do another. So something like that. I want to... I want to... Maybe we'll I'll just sort start doing the one and then we'll just duplicate it a little bit. So the idea is that if we do maybe that. Okay, and then what, what is it that we need? We need anesthesia workstation over there. Uh, but actually, let's make this a red color instead. Uh, can this one get a slightly more reddish color? I think that's okay. Ooh. And it needs another light as well, also on the reddish kind of color, I think. Ooh. There we go. Something like that feels a little bit more natural. Now, we need things like USG and all those kind of things. Hmm, a sanitary equipment. Maybe what we'll do is we'll put some sanitary equipment up on this side here with a lot of other equipment pieces. Something like that. Uh, we need one of these ops. Anesthesiologist for TC. Yep, absolutely. Thanks, Doc, for the reminder. I do want us to maybe do something like that. It feels like it's nice and natural. I'll definitely get maybe a chart board um, going up on this side over here. We'll see. And what other, what other stuff do we need? So we'll get a mobile workstation. I don't... Do we need a mobile workstation in each one? I think let's do it. Let's do it. Let's uh, max it all out. And we will also grab like an equipment cabinet over there. Um, we'll get some of this stuff going on. We'll de de uh, defurb like this. I think that's going to be good. And then USG up on there. Okay, so something like that. I'm hoping that if we do this, it means that naturally um, it'll work all the time. So that's kind of the idea that I have with, with all of this. So now, now I believe what I can do is I can just copy um, this section. I can just do that and place multiple areas like this, right? And we can see how far we can get with it. Okay, so maybe let's leave it like that for now. One, two, three, four, five. Um, actually, if we try, can we can we do the other side as well? Oh yes, there's more than enough space. So this could be this could be a pretty substantial trauma center. But I don't want it to start right in front of the door there though. I'd rather we oh that's a little bit in the way there then. Let's uh, let's move this to this area. Um, there's some other stuff that we would want to place in here. Some of these scrubs, maybe. Um, there was what? 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 What else was here? You know, some of this stuff. That's fine. I wanted to do. Hang on. Ah, the whiteboard. Let's get the whiteboard out there. All, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, we, we probably need some stretches. Do we have stretches in here? Stretches needs to be somewhere. Okay, let's uh, let's leave it leave it as that for now. That should be okay. Um, let's get our observation area done. Go with modern hospital beds straight away. And I'm kind of tempted to. Yeah, so that's okay. They can come in through here. That's not bad. Um, I'm gonna try and get a lot in here. Is this modern? Yeah, that's the modern modern ones. Uh, will this actually work? There's like a lot of beds there. Let's see, what else do we need? We need like a bedside table. What else did we need here? Did we need... Oh, we need a life monitor. Let's get these life monitors. in fact works if we do it this way that's pretty good so that's a good starting point right there um, what we'll do is we'll get like an equipment cabinet 
Um, up on the edge over here, we'll get something like maybe a lab sink over there. We'll get um, this mobile workstation over here. I think that, that should be workable. We'll definitely get um, some of these defibs going on. Maybe even something like that. We'll get, um, we'll get this guy in there. Yeah, that should work. Nice. Uh, we need a little bit more equipment though. Kind of wondering. Oh, bed sockets. Absolutely. I keep forgetting about bed sockets, but we'll get some bed sockets in here. I want to make it a little nicer than this, but it'll be do, uh, work as a starting point for us. We need a few more things. So, uh, what we can have over here is let's get an extra. Well, let's get the chart board going. That, that actually works quite well over there. Um, okay, we need something, some form of cabinet or something. Can we do? Can we do something that actually kind of feels like it belongs here? Maybe like a red or something like that. And we'll we'll grab one of these guys. Um, I think we're just going to have to do yet another one over here and put the CRP stuff right there. Okay, there we go. So that's all the basic equipment that we need over here. Now, over here, let's move on and we'll get the equipment cabinet for the nurses station over there. We would like glass office pieces for the nurses. Um, I'll put the nurses office area over here and all their equipment stuff on this side. So let's... Um, Let's see what we can do. Let's do like that section. Yeah, something like that, I think we'll do a pretty good job of. And we'll just put some PCs up here. We can have many, many nurses in here, I believe. Many, many, many nurses. Uh, actually, maybe what we should have done is Turned it uh, like that, so they um, a little bit offset on this side. We'll see about how that works. We'll get them some chairs like that. There we go. There we go. That 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 should be quite workable. We'll get them some of these kind of trays and things over here. I need stretches, tons of stretches though. We'll get uh, maybe like a couple of those over there. We'll get tons of stretches in here. One, two, three stretches like that should do the trick for us. Whiteboard in the observation room. Mm, okay, we'll get a whiteboard in here. There we go. Okay, now over here, what else do we need? We've actually got everything we need over here, but we'll get some stuff like scrubs and and stuff like that. So let's um, let's try and cause a little bit of a separation here with maybe something like this. I think that's uh, that's pretty good. We'll try and separate that area out a little bit. What I wanted to do is I actually want to provide them with some some form of a kind of seating area over here. So if we do something like that, and we'll. Do another of the over here then we can put something in in there maybe a coffee table with like a radio or something i know it's a little open but i think that uh, that's okay we'll do that if only i can find it where's the coffee table there it is coffee table radio stuff over this over this way we'll do some of that um, chartboard, radio, where's the radio, get the radio, the dandelion has returned, welcome dandelion, excellent, glad to have you back, uh, where's the radio, I can't never find the stuff that I'm looking for, I, I honestly don't necessarily know how, how the stuff tends to work, how you, how it's decided where, what goes where and, and so on. Okay, we'll probably, we can get them a bit of a printer or something like that if they need it. I was thinking we maybe do a bit of a, a wash up area over here. And maybe a, like a, this kind of stuff going on there. 
for the nurses to deal with or to use. Sanitary stuff. I'm not sure we need all any of that. Okay, so that's uh, kind of the starting point for this for this area. We we won't uh, we won't go into too much more detail over there. I'm going to go ahead and copy this guy um, over here. I've not only been building, but there's been a lot of building. I I want us to um, get this kind of hospital. Wow, that's a huge bathroom. That is a huge bathroom. I'll have to rebuild a bathroom over here. So let's uh, let's get all get this huge bathroom all built out. I've been I've been primarily building because what I want us to do is get um, get it all ready, um, and and then and then we play it for a few a few hours to see how how best we deal with everything. But yeah, for the most part, it's been building, building, building. And that's, uh, I think, one of the things, if you are playing, um, if you are playing sandbox, then you could kind of try and get it done. But if you if you think about it, like, in the real life, they don't build hospitals little by little, right? They will build one big hospital, takes a lot of planning, getting the hospital ready to go, all these kind of things. And, uh, and, then, and then once it opens, it opens. It's not like, it's not like it's uh, they do do little pieces of hospital. There we go. Okay, and we can do tons of these things over here. This is a pretty big and sizable cleaning closet. If we do um yeah something like that should be okay there we go they don't want to build either here in the uk anyway they always don't uh in the building either okay so that's that's it um if we i think that we'll, let's just do the doctor's area quickly um the doctors i would like So if we do, maybe something like that. And that's that'll kind of become the doctor area here. So let's get some laptops out there. We'll just do them kind of uh, like this kind of thing. And and, uh, and then we'll grab them a, a nice fancy printer somewhere. That's okay. We'll get them some fancy chairs. Slot that in. Good stuff, that's okay. And then we'll go and get a nice area here for them. With uh, some other fancy facilities like a coffee table in the corner, um, maybe a TV. Like that, we'll give them a sofa or two. Come on. Like that, we'll definitely need, uh, what, what is it, uh, some of this water. Oh, and I need um, some cabinetry. Hang on, let's give them a cabinet with doors and stuff over there, and we'll give them a nice fancy coffee machine. Can we give them a coffee machine? Definitely can. Fancy doctor's coffee machine over there. Excellent. So that should be everything we need over here. <clears throat> but there is a, a hospital in my town that was originally just a small clinic, but now become a big hospital. Yes, it would be. Yes, up, absolutely. So there's definitely upgrades and things like that that happens. But I think that gives us the ability to now open up um, once we've got all of these um, people in place. So let's uh, get a few of them going on. Thank you for the hydrate dandelion. Um, okay, so let's grab. Okay, I think that one's okay. And then an evening one, we'll get this one. I think that's going to be just fine. Some doctors over here, we would like some anesthesiologists. 
Uh, not that one. Uh, let's uh, see what kind of stuff do we have over here. Hmm. That's pretty good. We'll get Jane Lee over there. Uh, we want an evening doctor as well, an anesthesiologist. I will check some of these things. Mm, that's not bad. I'm going to get William over there. Now we want some nurses, please. So at least two nurses, I think. Panther, welcome! Welcome to the stream. Glad you, glad you made it, man. Glad you made it. I don't think we need anything fancy with the nurses. Should Doc will uh, inform us soon. So two daytime nurses would be great. That's uh, that's pretty good. And then two uh, evening nurses. That's okay. And what is this fast? I think that's okay. We'll get we'll get those those going. So that uh, gives us a good starting point. So now we can actually go back, play a little bit, and see how all of this uh, works and, and slots together. So we've got some X, we've got an X-ray facility, we've got all the labs, and we've now opened the emergency um, hospitalization section over here, which I'm quite keen on to see how it goes. Want to see how it runs and how all of it works? And I do want us to try and get um, this kind of shape ready for us to um, continue on to the next stream next time. Um, and before we really get into the infectious diseases, I do want the DID section um, sorted out really, really soon. I, I wish, I really wish we could, um, we could actually have the game run while we build. That would be, be so much, so much better. Though I do understand why there are some limitations and shortcomings to it, to doing something like that. Can we buy ourselves an ambulance or two? I'm just kind of thinking whether it's been, we need to be unlocked or, or something. Um, ambulance, we can? Oh, uh, what are we doing? Blue? Kind of a pinkish kind of color. I do like that, the purple maybe. Ooh. Actually, it needs to be yellow and red. Right, yellow and red. I think yellow and red is what we're going to do. So let's, um, let's grab ourselves two ambulances as a starting point. Is you can use at everyone when they announce the live streaming instead of at here? Oh, okay. I can do that. I can, uh, I can make that change. But I don't necessarily know if everybody uh, if everybody wants to necessarily be pinged for something because if they're not if they're not there right and they get a and they get this ping and it's too late does it actually make a difference is that really the, the right thing to do up for discussion we're moving a lot of people through the doctor's offices over here that's excellent. There are people waiting, but I think we've got enough doctors at the moment. We'll uh, keep a close eye on how we're dealing with everything. Yes, it only pings the people that are online. And so I'm thinking, um, if you're not online, you probably probably are uh, not, not in a position to watch the stream anyway. Ooh. Do we have someone in observation? Oh, already have a few people in observation. I might have to expand that area a little bit. Where's my technician? Excellent. Ah, oh, they are using the little ping machine for X-ray here. The queuing, queuing machine. People are now using um, all of this. Observation is working. Got a lot of patients. Dealing with a lot of patients over here. Okay, so this is up and running. There's a few things that we need to uh, kind of sort out, finish off all these kind of things. I wouldn't mind getting all of these other facilities in here as well.
So why does my gifted sub not show up? I'm... Hmm. Interesting. I, I have no idea. I'll, I'll have to have a, have a look at that. I have no idea what... Why... Whether there's anything... I, I'm, I don't think I did anything or changed anything. I'll have to... I, I, I really don't know how that works. So I'll have to figure it out. I need to uh, understand the Twitch stuff a little bit better though, I think. There's a lot of stuff that I don't fully understand. Okay, so that's the end of the day. Now, I think we are moving through a lot of people, or at the end of the shift, the day has still got a few more hours. Okay, and we are working our way through these things. When can we open up this one? Open a clinic at a specialized department. So really once we get um, Get the DID going. So maybe DID is the next step for us to do. I Think okay, let's figure out if we do our yeah, I think we we just do our we Just double up on this section here Um. Ooh, add a new floor the entire section mm, yeah I think that's okay let's add a new floor copy tiles from uh, the top floor copy walls from the top floor mm, do we do it do we do it I think for this area it's gonna make um, a fair bit of sense to do it but maybe we shouldn't no let's let's not do it let's not do it let's just say build a new floor and we'll uh, start it off um, by ourselves. So what is the first thing that we're going to need here though is going to be a lift. So we need to figure out where this elevator needs to go. So let's go downstairs and I want to try and maybe squeeze it in over there somewhere. I feel that is the right spot for it right there. So I'm going to do that. We're going to grab a wall. We're going to run the wall, obviously run the wall around there like so and then what we'll do is we will trim that section of wall over there so now we've actually got um, an elevator that goes upstairs we can obviously do um, our wall covering over here do we? we we don't have a wall even around this entire thing so let's uh let's let's do that let's get our wall up here so this area i feel is going to be the hospitalization section um, for isolation and all these kind of pandemic handling wards. Ooh, interestingly, we could maybe make balconies up there. That's actually quite uh, quite an interesting thought. Ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. I'll have to um, redo that a little bit. What we can do is we can run it down here. And we'll... Um, Turn it around, we'll run it through there, up, uh, and up, up this section. A brick hospital. Um, Twitch can be a bit weird with uh, with uh, notifications and things like that. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, I, I really need to figure things out a little bit more on, on the Twitch side of things. Um, let's uh, delete that section there, and that's going to be fine. Now, um, let's plan out our DID department over here because I really want us to get, get into it. Uh, DID over there, do, 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 infectious diseases. Now, so for this one, I'm thinking, what do we need? DID offices, reception, waiting room, all these kind of things. So if we go with a reception, and I'm kind of comfortable to do reception like, maybe something like that. Eight by eight over there, good. And then from here, we will run um, waiting room stuff. Waiting room stuff over here. I think something like that should be okay. Large waiting room over here. What is the size that we have over here? 10. So doc, 10 by six for, um, for, uh, for the DID offices, huh? Oh, 10, 10 by 6, something like that, huh? Eh? 
kind of like that and and on this side it's also going to be yeah we can do a similar size over here um we need a common room potentially in the back um over there but we also need um cleaning closets and a restroom restroom i'm kind of tempted to squeeze in up here Ooh, but we've got this little balcony section um that we could use i'm not sure how though uh the balcony could be part of the common room or on the outside of the common room maybe so if we squeeze common room in like that and have the balcony over there part of the common room that actually would work quite nicely not sure we're gonna how we're gonna use this this one and then um now let's get the restroom over there and the cleaning closet over here wow but these are going to be huge so i'm not too sure we're going to be able to use all of this space but anyway the idea is generally that we'll do 10 by 6 ooh, not cleaning closets the id offices we do some stuff like that and have some nice offices um in here so we're going to have plenty of them over here and then we corridor it out into that direction um towards that for specialized doctor's office use eight by six but I, i'd rather want I, I want to do a 10 <laughs> i want to do a 10 by six so they're nice and fancy offices let's quickly see how many we can actually squeeze in this way uh 10 by six and ooh. So what will that area be unless we unless we try and get something else in here now that area looks like a, we're going to be a lot of wasted space if we do it if we just use it like this i'm also a little concerned about the size of this cleaning closet could have put a lounge in there hmm we could put a lounge on this side uh because we got have this balcony section that we can use I, I kind of feel that that's what i want to do here have balconies the common room over there gets a balcony and some kind of a lounge do we get a lounge here no they don't get a lounge unfortunately but what we could do is we could maybe do like a cafeteria i have no idea an employee's canteen let's let's do that let's get a cafeteria and so if we do like a cafeteria in there like something like that right oh that's not quite um up to the edge so let's grab that let's get a cafeteria going in here okay and then what i'll do on the other side i'll put a study room on that side i think so that uh, our doctors are constantly um training and, and getting better um maybe we'll do a service office we could we could do a service office something like that maybe a 4 by 10 service office in there um, a cafeteria over here and then uh, we can actually actually squeeze in yet another DID office over there um, at the same size that we've been doing it everywhere so we've got like seven of them over here how about that how is that not good I kind of like that idea now we just need to kind of fill this stuff out and get it built and, and all these kind of things so if we have a look at our flooring let's start off with some flooring did i'm going to go with this kind of grayish color i think and outside though what can we do outside sand construction grid gravel no that's not good but outside over here maybe this stuff interlocking pavement Ooh, if we do interlocking pavement up here what oh it doesn't want to okay well then we'll have to do something that's a little bit more um black floor something like that maybe do something like that yeah that's not too bad we'll do we'll do those two over there that's actually going to work quite nicely i think okay but let's uh let's get oh and we need flooring for the rest of this stuff though too i'm thinking uh for this area we'll just do the white floors like so for these areas over here we'll just do like tiles 
Um, and then what we'll do is we'll just start running the other flooring through there and even even through here what is going on oh i've got this bigger than it should be okay let's uh, quickly go back into this service uh, this this area come on get rid of that that's too big and now we'll do cafeteria again up to about there there we go so that, that actually does work okay now if we continue our construction over here we need some walls so let's get the walls up and running um, i'm going to go with this grayish color and then we're going to do the double line yet again so let's run the uh, double line all the way to the other side there all the way over here all the way um, up there as well also do this no damn it uh, let's undo oh i can't undo if you if you click the button again you can't undo it it's, it's literally as 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 um as finicky as that okay there we go so that's kind of the idea here we'll do some stuff over here get some more did offices going I like the idea that we're not that, it, that it's kind of an interesting way of doing it. We've got some different styles, and the entire hospital isn't in the same kind of grid um, that we've we've done in the past. I, I do like the fact that some corridors are wider, some are a little narrower. Um, areas where people are waiting is a little different than other areas. All those kind of things. I do like that that we're doing that. Okay, up there, and that should be fine. Uh, we also wanted to run this one up here that's good oh and all the way down there perfect okay so that's uh, kind of our flooring and our walls let's get some reception pieces in place here and what we'll do is i'm gonna align it up like that yeah let's do that so that kind of uh, get them straight away Not quite. There we go. Something like that. I think it's going to be good. There we go. The common room over there is fine. And then some waiting room areas over here. Uh, what we do want to do is we want to place some of this um, over there. So let's do something like that. We'll grab them a bit of a printer. Right on the edge there. Plus maybe what else? What else? What else? Something that makes it look nice. Maybe we'll put a cactus. Uh, actually, the disinfectant was the one we, uh, we decided on. Um, to be most appropriate there we go appropriate okay now there we go let's uh, let's get some chairs out here for the um for the uh for the nurses it's going to man the reception and i am kind of tempted that we just do that same thing again over here but this time around maybe maybe just like two and then we'll put the glass mm. no let's do that let's do like like that and then we'll put the glass in there uh, not that one, but the tall glass instead. Something like that. Welcome to the waiting room at the DID offices. Okay, now, with the waiting room in place, what I'm tempted to do is let's grab something like this so that they can immediately grab their number over there. And then there's a few areas where I would like us to have these things ready. Something like that should be, should be pretty good. Now, let's get this going. Tempted to do like, yeah, let's do that. That's cool. I think I think that's going to be a nice waiting area here. That's a good waiting area. I like it. I like it. Pretty good. Pretty good. Now we need some uh, stuff for the doctor's offices over here. So let's build one doctor's office, and then we will uh, copy and paste it to the rest. Last half an hour of the stream. I'm hoping we can at least get this set up and run. And then, yeah, you know, the next time we play, we're actually going to play. We're going to see about um, all the kind of diseases that we can probably manage through here. I'm not sure we're going to be able to do the hospitalization section, but we're going to try. We're going to see what we can get to. Okay, so doctor's offices will do kind of doors like in, in those locations over there. We'll get a door for this guy as well. That needs to be slightly 
different door this can be a door like that and like that maybe uh, this can be a slightly different door as well um, so let's try and run these doors up on that side now um, apart from this one that we may want to place on this side instead yeah something like that so it's all like in the same waiting, waiting room area over here uh, there's some all kinds of stuff that we can do for this okay so let's uh, let's see what do we need we need this and I'm gonna go with uh, we'll just stick with the kind of bluish color over here if we do that okay over there and then we'll get the desks we'll get the doctor's desk all the way over there maybe we'll grab um, the doctor a laptop plus um, maybe a printer yes they need one then we'll get them a fancy chair over here and we'll get maybe like an eye test somewhere behind the dock over there okay that's good <clears throat> we need uh, this thing let's go back with the blue again yeah place that in, in there we need like an equipment cabinet can we do it over there need some disinfectants and stuff so I'm kind of thinking maybe our old sanitary station over here sanitary equipment intended for isolation rooms to cover basic hygiene for patients so maybe it's not maybe it's not that important that we do that I do like the idea of actually having some of this in here so we'll do that. Um, what else do we need? We'll need um, this equipment over there. And we'll need a little bit more stuff here. So let's get some other piece. Uh, well, let's get a bin like that over there. That's good. And we will grab, what else? What else do we need? I wanted ooh, one of these things, a cabinet. We'll get a cabinet. We'll go back to the black. Uh, actually, we can do the like blue color. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Now, what else do we need? We need the CRP scan. We'll put that in place over there. So I like that um, setup. What we can do is we can get like this, this board up here. We definitely maybe want like a bookshelf or two for the dock. Why doesn't it want to put it in there? That feels weird. Is it? Oh, it's because of this thing. Let's do that. Let's put another bookshelf in there. That that feels quite quite reasonable to me. Now we need like a sofa or something. So let's get the sofa on that side. There we go. We'll get a plant. Like a yellow colored plant over there. That's good. We, we also want maybe the doctor has got his own little notice board or something up uh, behind him here. That's fine. Uh, there's a poster with like infectious diseases or something infections So let's uh, place one of those in there now the question is is there something else that we need over here? Is there like a the, the whiteboard. Let's grab the whiteboard for the dock right over there And that seems quite reasonable apart from we also need this guy So let's grab that piece right over there so that kind of seems good now The other thing that we could potentially do is we could get a bit of a privacy screen going on here So if I do maybe something like this and they really don't, they don't, they don't play well. They don't play well. So I'd rather we maybe do something like this as a privacy screen um, right over there. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's what we're going to do. Is there any other pieces that we could do to make it look nice? Maybe some other informational pieces. Bio is a sign, outbreak area, quarantine. No, I don't think so. Let's just leave it like that for now. Let's get our prefab going and we will copy them everywhere. There we go. One, two, three over here. And we'll move them onto this side also. And this one. We'll do that. Now we've got a double door in there. Um, so I'm thinking we'll get rid of that door. Um, not quite ideal. So let's try and do 
something like this instead with a bit of a privacy screen over there I'm tempted to move these things down into this direction and then what we'll do is we will yeah there we go so that looks uh, a little bit uh, slightly different over there okay there we go so now that's up in the running we can now immediately put some staff towards this area oh though we are missing um, some bathroom equipment so let's let's do that let's get the bathroom in here it's a massive bathroom Something like that, we'll get some hand dryers in there. What am I doing? There we go, and we'll get some of these. Good stuff. Uh, we'll get some trash bins there, like that, 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 and that. Now let's get those walls up in the running. All the way through there, it's a nice big bathroom. There we go. Excellent. Now, need some doors, and that'll be it. Um, this black color. All the way through. Uh, not quite right. We've got a white door back in there. Okay, now, equipment over here. We need some shelving. Um, the shelves, I believe. That's extreme. Extreme shelving. And we'll get some of these cards. There we go. That should uh, do the trick. Maybe a hamper or something over there. Nice. Okay, so now what I can do is I can quickly assign some staff members over here. So we'll definitely get this uh, this nurse area going on. So reception, pay for this. Uh, I'll grab you and we will go ahead and grab you for the evening shift. We'll get some doctors. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, 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 no. Doctors, please. We'll get a doctor over here. Someone that is good with diagnostics as well and excellent. This one is going to be our head of department, Fraser Allen. Excellent. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you. And lots of stuff uh, we're winning over there. Fraser, you're, uh, you're, our, you're our, um, our guy, our um, immediate uh, boss over here, the chief doctor. Now, evening doctors, not necessarily available. Um, but we could have, so let's get just at least multiple um, doctors over here. Let's uh, get some more perks assigned. Um, I think that's okay. And even another evening doctor, please, with advanced diagnostics. Um, we will go ahead and get Jane on the job. So there we go. So now that should immediately be available for us. Ooh, what we also need to do is get some cleaners going on. This area needs to be cleaned um, ASAP, so we'll get that guy. We will get maybe, hmm, not the early bird. Well, even that is a little bit better. So let's just grab her. Panther, welcome back again. I am Panther. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, now, we've got that going on. Okay, let's see. Uh, we probably won't see any new people here just yet. And even the planning phase of this is all going to pause our game at all. So I think we're not, I'm not going to continue building now. What I think we'll do is let's run it a little bit, see what kind of stuff we get. We don't have hospitalization yet um, in our uh, infectious diseases department, but we're certainly going, going to get that soon. And what I'm kind of wondering is whether I should fill out the rest of this um, as well as maybe not that piece. But what I think is I'll fill out the rest of this and the other sections like the gift shop, these other common rooms, areas that you, you've kind of seen me do before. And even these, that's um, a slightly different. I'll fill all of those areas in between the streams. And then in the next stream, what we'll do is we'll build out this one. And then it's going to be all about um, managing the pandemic, the pandemics as best we can. Quickly pop in here and quickly get... Um, the liver guys on board as well purchase five ambulances so we'll open the other one too so let's quickly do that we'll get a couple more ambulances in place uh, we're going to go with that one and it is the red one that we're using there we go uh, are we the right floor Good stuff, and there we go. So like six ambulances are ready to go. 
quick snap care is now also available so we've got that going for us lots of people should now be joining this clinic the pandemics by chaos clinic or hospital or whatever you would like to call it nice nice going yeah there's a lot of work for us to do still a lot of work and we're not we're slowly getting um getting more and more patients but not necessarily rapid rapid Not a lot of people waiting on any of these things. Okay, now it's the new day. I would be quite keen to see how it's going. Well, per definition, this is a clinic, not a hospital. Can you uh, enlighten us on the definition, please, Doc? What, what makes something a clinic versus a hospital? Having ambulances at the hospital is weird for me as we have separate ambulance services that uh, sep uh, that has separate depots. Uh, yeah, it is quite interesting. I think in South Africa, we used to have like private ambulance services. That's uh, private companies dealt with that. Whoa, look at all these people. Hang on. We need more doctors here. Um, that, that, uh, that then just took people to hospitals. Hospitals need at least four specialized departments. Really? I had no idea. Is that uh, universal around the world or is that a specific country's definition? Uh, let's get more doctors. My goodness, there's lots of people now here. Let's get advanced diagnostics. This is a good one. Uh, definitely, we'll grab that one. This one as well. Advanced diagnostics. We'll grab this one over here. That's awesome. I don't know if we need another evening doctor though, but let's try and get another, pick up another evening one. Get some more of these perks going on here. No one for evening, but we'll pick up one more there. So I think that's okay. So now we've got like seven doctors running. Uh, we also, hang on, we also need a lot. We also need um, some additional nurses to work over here for us. Let's grab another one. Uh, I don't think there's anything special that we need. Let's just make sure we've got all of this kind of sorted out. You're the one for us now. The Scottish Ambulance Service, yes, I think most places kind of have, I mean, here in Australia, I know there's like the um, the State Ambulance Service as well, that um, kind of drops people off at hospitals as, um, well, as is required. Patient is being transported to another hospital, couldn't be treated, be uh, why? Why couldn't you be treated? Observation, what is wrong here? So this kind of stuff is what we'll get into into the next in, in the next stream. So now that we've got our basic hospital up and running, we will start getting into this Ooh, West Nile fever, malaria. So why are you not being sent to the, um, the DID department? Anyway, I'm not going to bother with that right now. We'll get the various stuff in place that we want to get in place. And then in the next one, we'll really be managing um, patients, what's happening, send them to isolation, all those kind of things. That's, that's going to be the plan. Yeah, moving through those people quite quickly. Anybody in observation? Not really. Whoa, okay, hang on. We need more people to work over here also. So let's get that going straight away. Um, advanced biochemistry, please. We'll grab you. Um, over here, advanced biochemistry, please. We will grab... Hmm, let's unlock some of that. Ooh, yeah, we'll grab you, no problem. And advanced biochemistry... Hmm, you're not too bad. We'll grab you. So we at least have a few more people working there, but I believe we probably will need more. Oh. 
So I don't think this one. So the labs don't don't use this thing. Yeah. No, no, they do. Someone just clicked the button there. Okay, let's actually actually let's get a couple more people in here. And it's all free. Well, that's great. Um, advanced biochemistry. Let's unlock some more of this. Mm, maybe that one's okay. Over here, advanced biochemistry again. We'll unlock that. Ooh, too many alcoholics over here. We'll grab that guy. Uh, we'll do another one over here. Uh, advanced biochemistry, and we'll see what kind of stuff's going on over there. We'll grab that one. There we go. So now, hopefully, we'll move through these a little bit quicker. That's what I learned. Maybe the definition is specific for my country. Mm, okay. Okay, good to know, good to know. Yeah, I think uh, I see that, well, maybe in something like a professional medical field or something, there might be a little bit more consensus as to what um, what those definitions should be. The must-have departments are uh, pa uh, pediatrics, internal medicine, general surgery, and obstetrics. Okay. Okay, interesting. We're getting all kinds of bonuses through here now, so we should be making good money. What is our actual turnover? So forget about forget about this other number that's probably all of our our benefits and stuff or the, the, the grants and stuff. But we're making about eight thousand an hour, I think. In total? Well this is just hospitalization. I don't know. I don't necessarily know how to properly read this this uh, this one. This chart. Uh, here we have two types of hospitals, A&E or not A&E, as well as GP clinics. What is A&E? I have no idea what A&E what A stands for. Okay, end of uh, another day shift. I believe we moved... Hmm. We still have a lot of people that we need to treat though. And I haven't seen any of these ambulances actually roll out at the moment. I have not seen it. Yeah, so what I think I'm going to do, uh, because we're, we're in the last 10 minutes, so what I'm thinking I'm going to do, um, we're just going to kind of play it out. If you guys have any questions or discussion pieces for us, um, do sh uh, put them in the, in, the, uh, in the comments right now or in the chat so I can uh, address them. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of build out the rest of this, um, these open spots that we still have, including these open spots. I'm going to build them out in the next, um, in between. And then for the next stream, we will start it off by building our isolation um, area, our hospitalization section for the infectious diseases department that's upstairs here. And, uh, and that's what we'll, that's basically what we'll do. I do think that we could potentially grab an extra lift somewhere, but um, maybe, maybe in here somewhere or something. But I think, I don't necessarily think we need it. I think that's going to be just fine. Accident and emergency. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. I do. I do understand that most most places have hospitals that are geared for For emergencies like that and especially maybe car accidents. It seems to be pretty specific hospitals that um, Car accident victims go to and, and things like that or car accident patients go to and uh, hydrate. Thank you so much Dandelion So yes, that has been our clinic for now. We will definitely continue next time. Panther, a hydrate from you. Thank you so much. And Dr. Kevin, one more hydrate over there. Excellent. Ah, picked up those three. Excellent. I was uh, about to wonder when my, my hydrate spam is going to start happening. A last minute hydrate, yeah. Hi hey, Super, welcome back. You are, well, we have, okay, what did you miss? We've um, got our emergency hospitalization over here and we've started our infectious diseases department up here. What I'm going to do in between the stream, because there's only a little bit more time left in the stream, I'm going to fill in some of these open patches that I still have over here and then we're going to start the next one um, by building out our isolation ward and everything over there and then we're just going to um, deal with the pandemics as they pop in 
Yeah, it does go really fast. So I'm assuming she needs to be hospitalized or something for that effect, but I'm not gonna deal with that now. Once we have the hospitalization piece in place, that is when we will really start managing those things and ensure that we, we try and deal with everybody as, as best we can. Oh, one room is actually overloaded? Hmm, okay. Okay, one of these labs during the night. So what I'll do is I'll get, uh, yeah, lab queues. I'll get a few more people to actually work here. Lab, whoa, look at that, five in the lab queue. Hematology. So we definitely need to bring in at least a few more in the night shift over here. Uh, ooh, that's that's not bad. We'll grab you and no, no, we'll get another one and we'll grab you. There we go. Yes, the next uh, the next stream will be on Thursday, and we will be continuing a project hospital then. Um, I'm 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 very keen to then run that stream and actually just manage the um, everybody we need, uh, all, all the the all the patients. Yeah, more of these people are just leaving. We've got uh, multiple pieces of equipment here. What are these guys doing? Just kind of hanging out? Patient just collapsing. Okay, interesting. Our first collapse. I'm assuming TC. Yeah, going into TC, definitely. Where is my collapsing patient? Here they come. Excellent. I think that almost the first time we've had someone in TC. Time to watch the City Skylines video now. Excellent. Tell me what you think of that. We're starting this. The city is starting to slowly take sh uh, shape now. Legionnaire's disease. Interesting. Excellent. I think we made decent progress. I probably wanted to be a little bit further along so that we can get to the management of pandemic patients or infectious diseases patients. Um, ooh, and look at this. This is getting a little bit extreme as well. So probably need to open up some of our additional x-rays and things like that also. So I will do that in between. I think I'm going to fill out the rest of this x-ray uh, radiology department in between the streams. Um, and I'm going to fill in the open spots that I mentioned. And in the next one, we will then start our hospitalization section for infectious diseases. And we will manage, um, manage the infections, infectious diseases. Guys, I uh, would like to thank you all for coming out. It's been a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Oh, an ambulance. Oh, someone's been transferred away. It's not my ambulance. Ooh. Uh, I do uh, do want to, um, yeah, I will I will be taking control of DID patients. That's, that's the idea. Thank you so much for coming out. I've enjoyed it a lot. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Um, if you've liked it, hit the like buttons, the follows, all those kind of things. And join us on the Discord to have some further discussions about the games that we play and our community in general. We're quite a friendly gang. So guys, until next time, I will see you. Bye-bye.